Hi everybody, back for another video. So today I'm gonna do the boxy charm. It's called After Dark October. October, it's the month of October, and it's the theme is After Dark. So I took this stuff out. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna sh use it on camera. I took off all my eyeshadow and stuff. I just did my makeup, I checked the mail, and I got the box, of course. So let's go through this. So this is the um, Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist Radiant Dew. And that's what that looks like. So that is supposed to, let's see, let's see what this says. It says, Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew is a hydrating mist formulated to soothe, protect, and illuminate the skin. Enriched with antioxidant rich soothing and detoxifying detoxifying such as a black winter truffle, rosemary, ginger, peppermint, and a something rose, I cannot pronounce. <laughs> this refreshing mist encourages a radiant complexion while rebalancing skin's pH level, tightening pores, and setting makeup. So that's cool. You can use this to set your makeup. I'll do that after I use all the stuff that I've put on. Next is this, and it comes, this is a, a glassy touch in sole, um, pretty filter, glassy skin balm thing. And I'll read what that's about, but it comes in this pretty, like, packaging here. I like it. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. So this is supposed to... Oh, and I forgot the the mist was um, 35 bucks. That's already more than the box. This here is um, the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. So it's an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. And that's $32. So, I'm going to put this on. I can't wait to try it. 32 bucks for this stuff. Like, wow. Better be good. Let's try it. Ooh, that is really nice. It's nice and light. Oh, wow. Very nice and light. Oh my god, I love it. Now hopefully it doesn't like break my skin or anything out. Sometimes, you know, some stuff does that. I, I have a little bit of a sen sensitive skin, but I guess we'll find out. But that's that's really nice and, and light. I like that and it smells really good. It smells fresh and clean. Okay, thumbs up for that so far. that out of the way that's nice okay and I did give the price on that that was $32 so next some tweezers came which this bitch really needs <laughs> some fucking tweezers <laughs> for these eyebrows I mean they get pretty wacky I have really bushy eyebrows thanks to my dad you know they're pretty wild but anyways these were like $20 tweezers, and they're called Chella Slanted Tip Tweezers. And it says, to create your ideal eyebrow look, remove any unwanted hairs with this Chella Perfect Grip Tweezer. So they're, they are actually really nice. I won't be using those on camera. <laughs> I'll be using those off. So those were $20. So the next item is... This really pretty, iconic London, nearly nude lip plumping gloss. I am so excited to use this. I love lip plump plumping gloss. My lips hurt, like my top lip is thin. I mean, my bottom lip is not like huge, but it's, it's I mean, it's okay. But, um, I like this kind of stuff. So this says, this is the iconic, iconic London 
gloss and it is an ultimate ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power the high shine formula is infused with a bio mimic mim mimetic peptide which helps to support natural collagen production for for more defined and volume voluminous i can't do it i can't read today um looking lips so i'm just gonna throw this on right now see how this works i usually do my lips last but not today bitch we're switching things up all right so let's put this on Ooh. Mmm. Very nice. I like the applicator too. Let's dip into that one more time. And it and with these like um lip plumping glosses, your lips tingle. My Xbox just turned on and I'm not even in the room. It's really creepy. Why did that happen? That's so creepy. Oh my god. Do I have a fucking ghost in here? It literally went to Netflix. I heard I heard it go to Netflix. Oh my god, I'm freaked out. <laughs> Someone save me. Okay. So that's what that looks like. It's really pretty. I really like it. And it's starting to tingle. Which that's usually what they're supposed to do. And that was, how much did I say? That was $26. And so the last thing here we have are these Baked Browns Dose of Colors. And let me be honest. They are really chalky. Like... I'm going to swatch them for you guys. They're very, very chalky, though. Um, ready? And they d don't swatch very well at all. Like, ugh. oh, my God. Look at the chalkiness. Look at the chalkiness. Oh, my God. Girl. Watch. That one came on okay, but they're just so chalky. Oh my god, I can't. I hope that's. I hope they go on the eyes better. Oh, I don't know. All right, it says the five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. This palette is a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye looks. And it was $32. So the total is like $145 for this whole thing. Now this is what came with the Dose of Colors um, palette. This little cheap brush. Yeah, I'm going to use it though. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Like it came with it. I don't normally use brushes that come with the palettes unless they're like really good. But I'm going to go ahead and use it because I'm, I'm reviewing. So I'm going to go in with, oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Look at that powder come right off. That is crazy. That is not worth $32. Oh my God, where is the pigment? Oh, and look at the fallout. Oh, my God. Wow. I am so disappointed in this. This is crazy to me. I'm putting the shade Tea Light on. Where do you see it? And look at the... F oh, my God, guys. The fallout is insane. I don't even see it. It's not even on my eyelids. Wow. I was just putting that down for like a base. Look at this though. Like, it is so chalky. You can't even tell. 
Wow. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. I am so disappointed. I usually like like dose of colors too, so Oh, they're gonna they're gonna take a hit on this one. Oh fuck, this is bad. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I'm gonna go in. Oh my god. I'm, I, I want to go in with that outdoorsy shade. This one. Um, sorry. This, this one right here. Oh god. Oh my god, guys. It's so bad. That one goes on a little better. I'm just popping that in like the crease area. That one goes on a little better. It's not a, oh wow. It's still got a lot of fallout though. to say wow this is probably one of the, the worst boxy terms I've gotten which is a really dis wow <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the fallout on my notebook after this It is crazy. And I wanted to deepen, I want to deepen the, um, you know, the crease with um, rock bottom, this really dark shade, but I have a feeling it's not going to blend very well. Let's see. What the? As soon as you tap it, all this stuff comes right off. Oh my god. Wow. So yeah, I'm just taking that and I'm just darkening. Or adding some like dimension to the crease there. Oh wow. I can't wait to see the other reviews on people's channels. Thank God Jeffree Star doesn't review Boxy Charm because this one, holy shit, he would he would rip dose of colors a new one. <laughs> Guys, this is the worst eyeshadow I think I've ever used. Oh my god. It is so bad. I, I it is so bad. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say right now. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm not wearing this. I refuse to. I refuse to wear this. <laughs> I can't even put this on my eyes. Wow, guys. Whatever you do, Save your 32 fucking dollars and don't buy this. This is the worst palette I think I've ever used in my life. Let me just show you the fallout. Let me look at look at the the pan. Wow. 
Let me show you the fallout now. Oh my god, this is horrible. I just want to show you my notebook from just tapping off the fallout. Like, holy shit. I still have one thing left. I'm going to use that, the spray. Oh, that smells good. It's like a peppermint. Oh, that's nice. That is, that is nice. That's like the only nice thing. <coughs> that's the only nice thing. Well, all right. It's not the only nice thing. I'll say that this is nice. The tweezers and this. They were all pretty much okay. They, it's not my favorite boxy charm. But this, I'm, like, so pissed off at. Like, how could someone create a palette like that? It's, like, fucking chalk. I couldn't even finish using it. It was horrible. Oh, that's garbage. Sorry. Well, there you go, guys. Sorry.